Good morning, Lions. My name is Anetta Garcia, and I'm here with your daily announcements. This Friday would be our ATP talent show at the Huggin Theater here this Friday. So come out and see your fellow classmates to perform their greatest talents. May 27th is graduation for our ATP students who finished their four-year program or less at our ATP program. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all for today, Lions. Stay safe, keep on making good choices, and have a wonderful day. This is Mrs. Leana. Welcome to the principal's perspective. Today, I want to talk to you about dress code. We have spent this entire year as administrators working with a task force of students to update the Fullerton Joint Union High School District dress code. The last time that the dress code was updated was 1978. So this is work that was very much um, due to happen. And I'm super excited about what this task force has come up with. They have about a four page document here of, of the updates and I wanted to share them with you because starting next year, we are going to re-implement this new dress code. And I wanna make sure everybody is um, aware of what the rules are going to be. Basically the dress code, the purpose of the dress code is just to ensure that all students are treated equitably without regard to gender, identification, sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, body type or size, religion, and personal style. Obviously, dress code is there to maintain a safe learning environment and permit students to wear attire without fear of discipline or discrimination. And lastly, to prevent students from wearing clothing with offensive images or language, including profanity, hate speech, and pornography. So um, starting next year, we're going to be making sure that students are um, following the, the dress code and um, wearing clothing that appropriately covers the student's body, um, wearing clothing that is is safe so that if they're in um, like a lab in the science class, they don't have something that could um, get caught up in the equipment there and provide a more unsafe environment, that they are wearing clothing and accessories that do not advocate violence or refer to criminal activity, that do not include pornography or hate speech, do not include images or language that creates a hostile or intimidating environment for any protected class, and that all clothing and accessories are um, that will be prohibited from causing a disruption to the educational environment. Um, I am excited to put this new language into place into the La Vista La Sierra dress codes. Wanted you to be aware of it. We'll provide more information on the dress code in upcoming um, segments on Lion's Roar and you heard it here first. All right, Lions, until next week, keep making good choices, focusing on your goals and earning all your credit, and I'll see you in a week.
Thank you for watching Lions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a fun and safe weekend. We are the Lions. Oh!